Good morning, people. I am having such a good morning, really. I can show you around just a bit because this is so far the best Airbnb where I stayed. The sun is coming up from behind. Some trees. The nature. There is the city. So it's quite far. I should have taken this road, but I came from that direction. Thank you very much, Google Maps. If we go in. Here are three beds, just a table with all of my stuff. Here is a kitchen, here is the bathroom. So you have basically everything and everything is quite new. So I'm really happy. Thank you very much, Peter and your father uh, for letting me stay here. I will give you a link in the description down below because there's not always a chance to stay in an Airbnb like this. I think I should pack my stuff, have a coffee with Peter's father. Actually, usually I'm not drinking coffee. I'm really happy for this. But just to be a good guest, now I will drink one small amount of coffee. One hour later. I'm still here in the Airbnb because what happened is that a guy showed up with a lot of pastry. They kind of ordered a full bakery store for me and it was kind of the breakfast. I don't really know what to say, but thank you very much. It was a pleasure to stay here, but I need to go as always. Bye bye. <laughs> Uh, so you know uh, where you go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, every way uh, goes to Ravensburg. <laughs> yeah. uh, go. And I just left my lovely Mühlhausen. There is a big ass road work, so everything was closed, even the cycle path was closed. And there was a guy coming from that direction, so I thought maybe I can pass through somehow. Because I'm from Hungary, so this you cannot go there signs for me is like nothing. This guy came with a really big smile on his face, and it was really unusual for German people. And of course it was entirely closed, so I needed to turn back. I met the guy again and now I'm here and I will eat the pastry the father of Peter gave me when I was about to leave that you still have some space in your luggage. <laughs> I found it out that we have around 80 kilometers left, but that 80 kilometers involves quite a big hill. Or I can go along the Danube, it will be flat, although 20 kilometers more. So it is a question for today. I will think about that. Oh, and by the way, I got the refund for yesterday's double pay. Today is a good day. We are back on track. See you in a bit. It turned entirely official that I'm just skipping the hill. I'm not in the mood for a climb. I mean, I did some climbs so far, but this is the smaller part of the climb. The other side, there should be a twice as big climb. And the road almost goes entirely to the top directly. But I think I will climb the last hill in Hungary, so look forward to that. So now I'm about to follow the river and I think I found a shortcut which might lead to a bit of an extra time. I have an accommodation which is a Christian place. We'll see. I will continue my trip. Sorry that I didn't stop for any footage but so far my biggest goal is to reach Regensburg. So sorry but not sorry. See you in a bit. Let's make things right Love so far or at least we'll try it You've got your truth and I got mine So what do you use of blowing my mind? Some kind of game One of the famous uh, stone bridge or, or the oldest stone bridge hmm. of the whole world Of the whole world, yeah Well we both lose Should I blame it if it's not you? 
by the way, I made my way to Regensburg, which seems really nice. And I met a guy who was really nice. He showed me the way from like 10 kilometers. So we rode together. It was quite pleasant. So thank you very much. I won't disclose his name because I don't know either. But that's not a problem. Okay, I don't know how it happened and when, but my rear pannier is looking real bad. There should be the middle. It's not looking good, although I, I will try to fix it. So it is entirely clear what happened. The entire screw just broke. Here is the other part of the screw. Here it is. I think this happens if you have really bad roads. And I had several, so I'm not really surprised, although... Come on! Well, this is a bit of a headache, although it could be a lot worse. So, yeah, these things happen. Later. I found the Giros place, which was nice. We did a live stream, which was interesting, I think. I figured it out that they have a cycle repair shop, a really good one. But it is closed tomorrow. It is closed on Wednesday. And all the accommodations are really expensive or booked here. So I don't really want to stay here. I mean, I would like to stay here for another night, but it wouldn't do any good for the progress. But at least it's always something to think about. So we need to solve this. This is nothing else, just a bit of an issue in life. And life is all made of issues and resolving issues. And by the way, this is the first bigger German town, which I like. And this is a great plus. This is my accommodation, like a sanctuary or something. It's really nice. There's no many elevators where I can see a seat, but check the rooms. I think the rooms got refurbished really recently. I don't know why do I have two numbers. My stuff is all over the place. Apart from that, it's like brand new, for real. And of course the cross and the Bible. On that note, I think I will end today's video. My decision is that I will get up really early. I will try to get the screw out from the frame. So that way it is just an easy fix that I can have the same screws and just fix it by myself so hopefully i can fix this issue and we can progress further tomorrow what is for sure i will see you tomorrow